Kerala, where as well uh, there has been flooding in several parts. A red alert has been announced for four districts. Uh, today, that means very heavy rain has been predicted. That's Vayanad, Iduki, Malapuram and uh, Kodikod and educational institutions in all the 12 districts will remain closed today. And that was the situation yesterday as well. Basically, in the whole of the state, except for Thiruvananthapuram and uh, Kolam, uh, the, uh, you have this uh, situation and educational institutes have been closed today. Well, let's go across uh, to Sneha now for more. And Sneha, the Kochi airport has also been closed uh, till uh, Sunday now. And we're seeing these visuals of the flooding. Uh, tell us, uh, give, us tell, give us more details about uh, what's taking place, any rescue operations. Well, that's right. Um, the Kochi airport, all operations have been suspended till 3 p.m. on Sunday. When it comes to schools and educational institutions, instead of 12 districts now, all districts of Kerala, uh, schools and educational institutions in all districts of Kerala, that's all 14 districts of Kerala, have been ordered to remain closed for today. And that is in view of the uh, extremely heavy rainfall, the red alert in four districts of Kerala, and also the uh, alert for flood stability. Now, the red alert is essentially for Wayanad, Iliki, Malapuram, and Kori Kod. Um, Korikor in Malapuram, Bayan, and northern part of Kerala, Vainad and Idiki really are also the seen as the tourist destinations. Um, uh, Vainad has seen a major landslide. Now, uh, while the state government has not given any term in any figures as such in terms of how many people are missing, but NDRF army teams as well as the local fire force and locals, all of them are present. Their rescue operations have begun at 6 o'clock in the morning again. According to army sources, as reported by my colleague Vishnu Som, around 150 people are expected, are suspected preliminary to be uh, stuck in slush at their homes, which have been partially or uh, permanently dis uh, uh, completely destroyed for that matter. Also, um, a major focus on evacuation operations in Vainad, another area of Malapuram, that is the Nilambur area of Malapuram, is also on the focus where landslides and flooding has been reported. Again, uh, if I, uh, relief and our rescue operation teams are there on the ground. So what really needs to be seen is the kind of how this is going to play out today in terms of the red alert for heavy, excessively heavy rainfall and also the flood alert which is being given by the Central Water Commission, which is practically for a large part of Kerala, uh, uh, including the plains like Patnam Sita, Alapura, Kotem, Ernakulam, Ediki, Trishul, Palakkad, Korikot, Vainat, Kannur and Kasargod. So these uh, areas have been given, uh, these districts have been given an alert for the possibility of flooding because of the rivers flowing in spate as well as the possibility of breaching of the banks. Smaller dams have had to be opened, but the larger dams still, um, you know, they are just about um, uh, lower number 50, just about 50% full. So there's still capacity. So that way, unlike the previous year, we're not expecting any major catastrophic light flooding, but major concerns over Vainad and Malapuram as of now.